Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. And welcome to this review video of uh, Ubuntu um, Zesty Zappas. This is the latest version of Ubuntu uh, uh, relevant to the date I'm recording this video, which is uh, April 13th to 2017. So um, this is basically the latest version of Ubuntu running right now. Its uh, code name is Zesty Zappas 17.04. Uh, uh, That's the version number. I'm just going to give you a review of uh, some of the features that I've added. I'm going to actually talk about what the future holds for Ubuntu, generally speaking. So um, they haven't made a lot of changes, um, and I'm going to explain why. But the the main uh, change that they've made is they've updated the Linux kernel to uh, 4.0. Dot one or I uh, excuse me 4.10 or 4.10 but that that would be wrong if I said that because uh, with decimal places you never actually say it like that but that's a pretty stupid thing all right I said right there but um, they've updated the kernel to um, as I said 4.1.0 and um, well it's brought a lot of stability as you know the kernel is always updated by by Linus and uh, yeah, it's brought a lot of stability to the operating system, of a very good operating system as it is. Um, some of the other features they've brought are driverless printing. Now, what is driverless printing, you might be asking. Well, for m most of you who use... Um, who use Linux, you know that drivers are a pain in the ass, right? Installing drivers for any other hardware device apart from your mouse and keyboard are really, really, really um, troublesome. Uh, especially if they're not supported and this is a really really good step into you know into encouraging ma more people to come onto linux and to use linux and to enjoy linux for what it is really and what uh, driverless printing is basically uh, the ability for you to uh, to use your printer uh, in a plug and play fashion really so you can actually you don't have to install any drivers for any specific printer it just uh, it just allows you to use it as a plug and play device similar to the way your keyboard uh, your keyboard would work so that's really really awesome uh, one other f uh, feature that they've added really not a feature but something that they've, they've been pondering of on for quite a while and a very very technical change is uh, the inclusion of a swap file so canonical uh, the uh, well you can say the firm that owns and controls ubuntu um, have actually um, well, if you guys know, uh, uh, if you guys know how Linux is usually installed, it has its main um, hard drive where the uh, Ubuntu operating system lies. It then has a swap uh, hard uh, a swap partition, which basically acts as more RAM when your computer is fill uh, your computer's RAM is maxed out. Now, I'm not going to explain what a swap uh, what a swap partition is, but basically, um, Ubuntu have changed it into uh, into a swap file so um, the reason for this is because Ubuntu has found that um, most of the modern systems have ample memory at their disposal so a swap file on on the other hand will use a low percentage of the hard drives free space with a two gigabyte cap so basically they have understood that computers are have a lot of uh, memory to use i mean nowadays most of the computers usually have about a uh, standard will have about eight gigabytes of memory and four gigabytes being the minimum uh, you never see anything lower than two gigabytes and that's good that's very very good i mean um, they're making it more stable and more uh, more of a polished operating system to uh, to even a beginner really now what uh, the reason i'm reviewing this version of ubuntu is because this might be the last version of Ubuntu that uh, you will actually use that will have the Unity desktop environment, right? So for most of you who follow Linux uh, or Ubuntu for that matter very closely, know that a Canonical have announced that they will be ditching, uh, uh, I think is the correct word I should use there, they will be ditching their, their beloved... Um, Unity launcher or desktop environment, which is what you see right here, for um, uh, wait for it for GNOME. Uh, I, now this will spark a lot of controversy and already has after they announced that. Now, for most of you guys who don't know what uh, the Linux, the different Linux uh, desktop environment uh, are, are basically just um, what you see right here, just like Android launchers. 
they just provide a unique way of uh, of experiencing the GUI or graphical user interface. And the current version that Ubuntu uses is um, is one of their own. It's called the Unity desktop environment, and they want to switch uh, from the Unity desktop environment onto the GNOME desktop environment that is uh, on popular distros like Kali Linux and uh, you know, many many others. Uh, uh, I can't just re I can't remember any of the others, but it's on a lot of distros. Now you might be asking yourself, well, what's wrong with that, and why are Ubuntu doing this? Well. Ubuntu is doing this because they want to focus more into the operating system and providing and basically just polishing it, uh, basically just taking them a step closer to their goal of making uh, Linux one of the uh, one. Well, you can say a, a, a world popular operating system uh, that can compete with Windows and Mac OS. And generally speaking, Linux is far from that because it's it's revered as um as an operating system that is very very difficult to use and it uh, generally will um will discourage any new any beginners from using it because of of uh, basically learning uh, the way a new operating system works and all of that you you get the idea but um as i'm saying um ubuntu right now is an extremely stable operating system if i was to recommend anyone to switch from windows to linux this was the first distro i would recommend for them second distro i would recommend is um i would say manjaro or manharo uh, depends on how you want to pronounce it um that also is a very very good stable uh, linux distro but coming back to ubuntu um they've really not changed anything in this version of of ubuntu but the next version of ubuntu will I, I don't want it to happen, but I know it's going to cause a lot of problems for Ubuntu. Uh, the, the GNOME uh, desktop environment is notorious. It's notorious for being slow, buggy, glitchy, and it's just not a very, very friendly user, user interface. I mean, fine, it's very similar to Unity in the sense that it's got a dock and uh, you can basically search use or you can open the search bar using your start or your command uh, your command key on your keyboard but uh, as most of you guys know who use kali linux it's a pretty pretty ugly um pretty disgusting uh, desktop environment and I, maybe i'm biased against it but i can tell you for a fact that even when i install kali linux i immediately go and install another desktop environment i go and install one of my favorite desktop environments uh, mate uh, or mate um, the mate the desktop environment and for the simple reason is that it's simple and fast which is what ubuntu is right now so i was shocked when i heard that they're going to switch their desktop environment to something that's slower than what it currently is i mean the Unity desktop environment right now isn't the best in the world, but hey, look at this. It's, it's actually, it, it's very, very user intuitive to people who have moved from Windows. I mean, here you have your help. Uh, you have your, your users that you're currently, uh, logged on as. Uh, you can shut down, restart, suspend. You then have your volume toggles, your keyboard, uh, input layout, and you have your internet, uh, settings right there. You then have your, uh, you, you can basically launch, uh, similar to what your start menu does for you. Then you have your file explorer, very clean, simple file explorer. You have your trash videos, pictures, music. You get the idea. It's very, very nice and friendly. And it's not going to complicate stuff, especially for people who've been using Ubuntu for years. I mean, I, I know people who've been using Ubuntu for their work and not people who are tech savvy or people who know programming or scripting. These are people who just switched or who have never used Windows and have always been using Linux and this is what they know and love. And finally, uh, you know, Ubuntu is what gets their work done and if it's gonna cause problems for them, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing Ubuntu is gonna lose a lot, of, uh, a lot of users. I would have recommended any other desktop environment for them to use, even KDE. KDE would be a fantastic, or even the Cinnamon desktop environment from Linux Mint. I mean, that's a beautiful desktop environment, very simple. You know, Linux was always supposed to be a simple operating system that could perform complex tasks. And the GNOME launcher, I have nothing against the GNOME desktop environment. It it has its uses, and I'm just not a fan of it. I know, and I know tons of other Linux or Ubuntu fans and just users of Linux will will vouch for that, that 
no one no one purposely installs the gnome uh, launcher or desktop environment on their computer no one ever does it voluntarily you might install any other but no one installs the gnome launcher um, uh, voluntarily but that's basically what i wanted to say uh probably um I, I, it's a really really sad thing i don't know why i'm feeling sad ubuntu is only getting better but i see that using the gnome launcher will only take it a step backwards but hopefully they can combat that and hopefully maybe they can uh, find a way to change what they've done um, i'm running this in a virtual machine right now and it's i can literally use this for anything else that i want to do it's a perfectly good operating system i can change anything about it just good old ubuntu and i really wanted it to stay this way but as i said they have ambitions for this project and uh, they want to they want to really really push the envelope further so you know best of luck to ubuntu and uh, yeah it's you know ubuntu has been there for a long 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 time i'm telling you like honestly like when i was um i was a kid man and i remember using ubuntu at at the time when windows xp was literally the most popular operating system that's how old ubuntu is and i'm just scared that it might fade away you know um it would be a pity uh, it would really really be a pity for such a beautiful project to go down the drain you know and and i'm not saying it will go down the drain because they've changed their desktop environment i'm saying it usually all it takes is one mistake you know to to lose all your or all your user base uh but i guess they know they know what they're doing better than me this is their project and they are in control of it but you know let me let me know what you guys think in the comment section or you know just just express what you think about the the current scenario with linux and more specifically ubuntu um so i hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video or the, you found this video helpful i will leave the link to the, in the description section where you can download ubuntu uh, by the way it's free for those of you who don't know um i i'm i'm actually i'm, I'm just just shocked i have to keep on saying that because there's some people who actually don't know that ubuntu is absolutely free of course they do encourage you to uh, to make a donation to their to their cause but uh, enough of that i uh, hope you guys enjoy this video really really sorry for making this video if it's a depressing video from my end but it's something i really really just wanted to express you know about what's going on uh, with this fantastic community um anyway guys thank you for watching this video um if you have any questions hit me up on kick the comment section any of my social networks i will be sure to answer your question or uh just have a chat with you um anyway guys uh by the way pl please make sure that you follow me on instagram um i will be posting uh, like different uh, tips and uh, little tricks and tidbits uh, on instagram so uh, the link will be in the description section uh, make sure you follow me and yeah that's basically it for this video Have a fantastic day weekend and Easter. Peace.